Hello there, welcome to Why in the Morning. If it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. Right, so in this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at tour and travel business. In studio, I'm joined by Humphrey Moffat, who is the co owner and CEO of Mofire Adventures Limited. And he'll be taking us through uh, what the company does and uh, this is a conversation you would like to look out for keep uh, keep uh, the conversation going on our social media handles that is at y254 channel at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social humphrey yes Karibusana. Uh, thank you so uh studying us off first of all more fire adventures yeah. what is the company all about considering that you guys do a lot i went through your profile yeah. and uh, a couple of other things the company does so yeah, what sure. does more fire adventures deal with uh well uh more fire adventures is a tours and travel company uh we do a lot of uh things related to tourism and hospitality uh mainly we do uh we customize uh, tour packages uh, for our clients, either private bookings or, 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 or the usual ones that we usually have at our websites or our social media uh, uh, pages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we also do car rentals and uh, hotel bookings, uh, airport, SGR transfers, and what have you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So you and I know that during the month of January and March, yeah. uh, traditionally it's uh, an off season sure. when it comes to tour and travel, uh, especially right now during COVID-19. Looking back yeah. on normal years, yeah. it was well known like January to March, it's an off uh, season exactly. for travel and exactly. everything. What, I what, what is the situation looking like right now? Uh, well, I would say that... Uh, 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 currently, as we speak, uh, in the recent past, we had COVID-19 uh, being a very serious matter. Uh, you find that uh, uh, Kenyans really lacked traveling. They, they really were wishing to travel a lot. So uh, when the restrictions were lifted, uh, uh, yeah, lifted, uh, you get that Kenyans were now traveling so much. Now, as January sets on, it came with a lot of uh, responsibilities that we all know. Uh, that that reduced the number of people who travel. Yes, uh, just as usual, it's a low season, off season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we the business is not very bad, but uh, just a few bookings here and there. Just a few books, yes. Yeah. Okay. So the appointment of uh, British supermodel uh, Naomi Campbell as Kenyan tourism ambassador yeah. posted a Twitter uh, storm about a week ago. Yeah. What is your take on that? Naomi Campbell being named ambassador yeah. of uh, of the nini, of to and travel yeah. of Kenya tourism. Uh, well, according to me, uh, the issue has recently been a great concern, okay. and uh, according to me. I would say that uh, I would not dispute uh, her, her appointment because I believe that in her uh, capacity she also has her own following and her own influence. And uh, I wouldn't, uh, according to me, for our company, we wouldn't choose our, I wouldn't choose my own child to be my own ambassador. According to me, I would uh, maybe take someone uh, I mean, someone with a. Of course, I'm not saying that our own, our own, our own someone, someone else that maybe some people would have preferred mm -hmm. is not fit for the position. But I would say that uh, her, her appointment is still, you know, is still having an impact to our tourism uh, sector. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't dispute her her, her appointment. I was actually supporting her appointment mm. because of the huge following and also she loves coming to Kenya, traveling Kenya a lot uh, towards the coast, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Going back to the business aspect of it. Yeah. Someone is watching this conversation and they want to get into the tour and travel sort of kind of business. Yeah. What sort of skills does one require? Is there any educational background that I should have in okay. order to start a similar business? Uh, uh, According to me, uh, I want to talk on my own, according to my own personal experience. Uh, I, I have a degree in a different uh, field. 
Mm -hmm. uh, back in campus, I did uh, Bachelor of Commerce, Risk and Insurance. And uh, I wouldn't say that the, the, it's just passion. Tourism is passion and interest because I developed left passion when I was a student uh, club chairman in Chuka uh, back in my university days. Uh, from there I developed passion. I used to take those students to uh, for trips to various places and uh, uh, the fact that after that particular trip they used to ask where next, where next they really would go. Uh, I, I had to take the responsibility. So that gave me a passion and interest in the field. So I wouldn't say that someone is really really needed to to study so much about it but once you develop interest you would actually now create time to learn new things because I've actually learned over the past uh, couple of years that I've been here in this yeah all right so how did um, more fire adventures uh, start uh, uh, and what was the initial capital you the, can tell oh <laughs> <laughs> well uh, let me say that um, it began uh, back in the university when I was a student. I was a chairman of a club. When is this? That was recently, 2017. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, I was a student leader, and this club used to take students for trips. And uh, Mombasa was a very popular destination. It was my first time in Mombasa, actually. So I organized the trip. We went uh, two buses and from there, students from other campuses, KU, JQuart and all that, uh, began asking, can we bring along our uh, cousins, our neighbors and all that. I allowed them. So uh, beginning as a, uh, as a student base, uh, base as clients, afterwards when I graduated now, I started focusing on the outside market. Uh, people like you, I mean people in the corporate uh, world, people in other facilities. Yeah, so that is how we began and uh, currently we began as a business uh, with a capital of um, registering a business name uh, costs around uh, uh, 900 bob, 1000. So mm -hmm. a, a total of 1500 plus the name search. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was settling in the name of our adventures, we had to pay something mm -hmm. yeah then that's a total of around 1500 mm -hmm. and then now it grew now to a private limited company we have an office at jquart towers all right yeah okay yeah so that is how we began and now we're moving i began alone mm -hmm. but now i'm not working alone you have a partner i have a partner and a few marketers here and there okay and also drivers too entire team uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so who are your first clients our first clients as we speak yeah, your first clients when starting off the business. Oh, when we were starting, market, yeah. when we were starting, those were purely students. Now, from the students, we graduated to lecturers. The institution noticed uh, noticed my moves. I began by taking some lecturers to North Coast, and then now from there, university staff here and there, and now from there, now the lecturers brought their relatives and all that, then now we're now doing even corporates. So apart from student tours, we also do uh, team buildings in companies, we also do, uh, pa we book villas and, and, and what have you for companies, okay. and also workmates and, and colleagues and all that. Alright, yeah. what is your marketing strategy in, the, in, the, in this space that you're into? Which marketing is strategy? Yes. Um, so that, you're, that whatever you guys are doing can mm. be known out there for people, for potential clients. The greatest marketing strategy we have currently is uh, we focus much on referrals. Mm -hmm. We ensure that we give the best uh, and worth whatever the client has paid. Now, uh, after that, this client will always do referrals. Uh, he or she will bring more people. That is the first marketing strategy that we, we currently have. And of course, it's, it's the most perfect one for every business. And then another one is social media. Social media helps us a lot. Facebook uh, helps us a great deal. Like we would just post an ad of a trip, a day trip to say Naivasha and we would get bookings just from that. And then also Instagram. Okay. We have some good following on Instagram, uh, so we, from the uh, from the calls we get, we don't focus much on the likes and the comments, but the calls that we get for the bookings are now what we really focus on. Social social media and uh, 
and um, uh, and under the referrals. Those are the main ones. Okay. Yes. Currently, if you check, I'm yeah. so sure you've seen this. There's so many people who are starting to travel businesses. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I <laughs> decide to travel with you guys yeah. next day. You d you never know. You start to use Michelle Ashira <laughs> to a travel company. Yeah. So why so why is, why is many people actually getting into this kind of business? Uh, and uh, what problem are you guys solving in yeah, this uh, particular market, which is different? Well, uh, that is a very serious concern yeah because uh, r currently most people are actually starting you would go online and find uh, new things coming up yeah uh, it's encouraging it's encouraging Absolutely. Uh, but, but but again on the other side <laughs> I would say that uh, there are great hurdles there are great hassles and uh, I mean uh, like any other business tours and travel have great challenges the, some of these people enter the market, the following day they make huge losses and vanish, they get lost. Uh, it's, it requires a lot of sacrifice. Uh, at, at the start you would make losses and, and feel like losing up, mm -hmm. I mean losing hopes, yeah? Giving up, I mean. Uh, so you only need vigor because people really started, people really starting uh, tours and travel business because they see that Sun Soda is doing it daily. Why can't I also do it? Yeah, uh, what what really matters is that um, one really needs to to view it in a different perspective. Why is okay. the, this person doing it, and how is he doing yeah. it, and what are the challenges? Because you will get frustrated with the challenges. Mm -hmm. I'm talking from experience. I have friends who began and 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 uh, lost hope, mm -hmm. but of course still traveling with us. We keep in touch. Uh, so they really need to maybe also consider the challenges. Challenges are great, and of course, uh, the on the positive side are also you know also there. Okay, let's be realistic. Yeah. What do I need when I want to start a train travel company? I just need to you know I have followings on social media. Yeah. I create a poster uh, and, and start guys, selling. We are going to create a forest next weekend. No. And then uh, I call my friends. Mm. I tell them this is the amount that you are paying. No. So we can here we come create a forest. Um, so how does it Go. Uh, well, how let me let me answer that. Uh, that is a very wrong perspective. I mean, if you had that, it would be a wrong one because uh, that is not how to begin be, uh, business what or any business. The scenes? Yeah. What happens behind the scenes? Behind the scenes, <laughs> one, uh, you would see more fire adventures uh, uh, selling Kerita Forest, of course, <laughs> next week, as you've said it. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd see us selling Kerita Forest next week. You will see we have a package, a very little amount, and also decided to pay to, to charge that particular amount. You don't know our relationship and ag uh, and agreement terms. You know terms and conditions we we, we we really signed with that particular service provider at Kereta Forest. You don't know our agreement. You don't know that. You don't know how much they charge us for a particular service. So you come say, uh, charging the same price, hoping that you would get the same price as us. Mm -hmm. Again, maybe. Uh, that is at the venue and also service providers such as uh, maybe travel, uh, uh, I mean vehicles and all that. Uh, if you charge what I charge and my agreement with such service providers is different from yours, you'd mess, you, you'd, uh, I mean, disappoint your clients and your clients will never come back. You'd get a really bad name outside there. So. Uh, someone really needs to consult someone in the business first. Mm -hmm. If you're really interested, because the market is big, the market is growing daily, uh, you really need to first consult someone who has been there for a couple of time. And also after learning what this person really goes through, you will get an idea mm -hmm. of, of, of what uh, really you need to do. Because as you've put it, Many people really start like that. They go online, find more fire adventures online or any other tour company out there, uh, talk to a designer, and design a poster and start selling and, and call themselves so and so tours. Yeah, uh, that is why you find that it's actually, uh, 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 you know, it's actually a negative impact to the business because once a client is disappointed by this particular person, mm -hmm. if he was a newcomer, uh, someone testing what tours and travel really means. 
he or she will get lost and will never get interested in touring again. Mm. So that is actually a great challenge to tours and travels. People should not just come and start. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, earlier on, as you mentioned, uh, Mofa Adventures, you guys deal with a lot of things. Yeah. We have ticketing, we have uh, car rentals. Yeah. There's so many things under uh, uh, Mofa Adventures. Yeah. So uh, what sort of packages does your does the company offer when it comes to to and travel? Uh, well, uh, the packages we offer, we offer a range of services. Okay. Uh, I would classify them in different ways, in four to three, four, five ways. One, uh, we have day trips. Okay. Those are uh, the most popular uh, trips with, uh, uh, with uh, I mean, the most popular with us because you find that every weekend, every weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, we have a trip somewhere. Th that is one. W we we could be going to Naivasha, we could be going to Nanyuki, Abadeas, Longo Not, uh, and all that. Yeah, those are common ones all weekends. And also Nairobi National Park every weekend we have such. And then also we have uh, packages like uh, group customized cu customized tours, where a group of you would come a girl squad a co a colleagues or, uh, or or men's conference and all that they would come and ask for packages we want to go to north coast south coast uh, naivasha kisumu and all that we would design a package for them either they choose a villa apartment or a hotel or we advise then we will see how much we're going to uh, charge such a group that is number two then number three we also have uh, we also have uh, family packages. A family would just randomly book a package to Amboseli, Game Drives, uh, Nairobi, Masai Mara, Nakuru and all that. Again, uh, car rentals. A group of you would just want the tra uh, transport service. Maybe employees in a company or, uh, or anywhere else. A group of 50 and all that. Uh, we have a range of... Uh, of, uh, we have partnership with a travel agency that we offer transport services that we use throughout uh, uh, our, 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 our operations okay. and uh, we offer such services too. Yeah, we offer a range of services, hotel bookings and all that. All right. yeah. so Simply put, if I want to travel, I should just uh, look out, look out for you guys. Yes, exactly. <laughs> when you get us anything travel, you'll get sorted right. instantly. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's go back to behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Okay. Where they, well, actually, work is literally up on the in in Exactly. So on to behind the scenes. Yeah. How do you ensure that uh, you ha you strike a good deal? Yeah. And also talk to us about negotiate negotiation skills. Yeah. Uh, how you strike the deal to yeah. make that to affordable. To make yes, to make it uh, price friendly yeah. for your for your clients now. Yeah. yeah. Well, according to for, uh, our mission, uh, uh, providing uh, affordable packages, uh, we. We, we, we really take a lot of time behind the scenes mm -hmm. to, to, to design these packages. Uh, one, we have to consult, I mean, contact those service providers. We ask them about, uh, say, even uh, uh, various places, like you mentioned, Kereita, Kamdunda, and all that. We would call them, ask them about uh, uh, zip lining, how they charge it and all that and then we now negotiate further for our clients to make it affordable because if a client would go their book privately uh, the cost would be higher so that's why it's usually advisable to always contact us for any such services so we we design a package uh, from what the company I mean from what the, the, the service provider has given us we, 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 we regulate the prices to fit uh, uh, to fit their needs Again, behind the scenes, uh, when 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 we we also compare, um, uh, I mean, we also compare uh, what the market compare uh, market participants, mm -hmm. not competitors, but the, the the participants in the market have. Yeah, we also have to see uh, what is good for our clients, so that we offer the best or among the best. Yeah. How did the business perform uh, during the festive season? The festive season. Uh, uh, during the festive season, uh, we let, let me let me just pick from November to December. Okay. Uh, we had uh, 
we had a booking uh, uh, at around four villas in Moa, in South Coast, right. and uh, apartments, uh, two apartments at North Coast. Those were a group of colleagues, uh, workmates, and then another group was a group of family members, around 18 people. And that was, I think, extended family. Uh, that is uh, South Coast. And then we had private bookings to several, uh, to other places, uh, Abadeas and also Abadeas Country Lodge, and also we had others to, uh, in Naivasha. Mm -hmm. And then again, uh, we had now uh, the, the, the day trips, which usually clients flock. Like in a day trip, you would get up to 100 clients, 100, 120 you know, people uh, just coming for uh, a day trip. Yeah, so uh, that is just in a nutshell uh, what we offered. Uh, we couldn't travel uh, outside the country because of the restrictions, but we usually have such packages too. All right. Yeah. All right, so what are a couple of measures that you guys are taking as a company to scale up the business during the 2021 and probably also your time frame? Yes. Uh, for 2021, we have actually met as a, a team the management team we have met uh, and designed uh, the whole of 2021 packages and uh, uh, after designing them that is safe for the private bookings uh, because we wouldn't know what a client would want at a particular time uh, but uh, these other uh, uh, packages we have designed all of them and then we have ensured they are uh, competitive uh, in terms of prices and then to, to, to ensure that we sell more uh, in 2021 we have uh, discovered even unique destinations right. uh, that, that, that would actually uh, I mean I mean invite bring more clients to, 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 to us mm -hmm. and make them travel with, choose us to travel with us yeah uh, are we allowed to know about these unique destination right now yes this you unique destination uh, well, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Some would be one. Mm -hmm. For example, let me just mention a, a, a single one. Okay. Uh, a few people have actually travelled towards the western Nyanza regions. Uh -huh. Yeah, and 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 you get that one. I mean, in this this regions one would actually be up to age sixty without before stepping foot in, for example, Migori County. It's actually a very, it's a, a, I mean, it has some destinations. So, for example, uh, we have a package that traverses about over 15 counties. Mm. Yes, it traverses over 15 counties. That is towards, um, uh, towards, uh, that is along, uh, na, uh, starting from here, Nairobi, Kiambu, going all the way to uh, Kisumu, Wasingishu, uh, traversing to Homa Bay. Uh -huh. Traversing to Homa Bay, then getting to Migori, then mm -hmm. getting to Kisi. Kisi is hilly, and it's a very nice place to visit. So uh, yeah, then the come uh, exactly, it has nice sceneries. From Kisi, we get to Nyamira, then Bomet as we come. You know, basically, you're visiting more than, you know, almost half of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So we are traversing that, uh, all those uh, counties in an overland, VIP overland track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's such an experience. We have videos, actually anyone who would uh, actually contact us, we have such videos we would, uh, we would share with you. You see what actually an overland means and also what traversing all those counties uh, in three days would mean. All right, so what yes. should people look out for uh, when it comes to more fire, more fire adventures, uh, new projects coming up? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, well, I uh, would say that uh, uh, if, if you want uh, affordable packages, get in touch if you want anything for your family you know uh, at least every kenyan at one point or every person in the world at one point would want to visit a particular place that's true so uh, uh in in that case you get that someone would be uh, would be undecided on which maybe where to get a hotel where to get accommodation transport and all that uh, uh, and how much would that really cost we offer such services for free, uh, quotations we offer for free. So uh, we actually tell our, uh, provide our clients with such quotations so that they, they make a decision from uh, the competitive prices that we, uh, we you know, we give them. Okay. So uh, another thing that is maybe coming up in 2021, uh, this 2021 also, we would actually around, uh, 
In the next few months, we'll also offer at least uh, some internship programs. Mm -hmm. And also something that I didn't mention, uh, you get that we are unique. Our tour company is, is very unique okay. because apart from just the, the usual tours and travel, we also do corporate career responsibility. In this case, uh, 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 you get that you know, a lot of uh, youth need mentorship out there. So in, in, in various in institutions, universities, and we have partnership with various universities and also college, uh, colleges and, and uh, even a few high schools. You get that, uh, uh, you know, we, 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 we we, we, we combine tourism and uh, after we design packages now for, for such institutions, we link them up with uh, an expert. An expert who would then, uh, an expert in a particular field. Say we take even, for example, the reason I uh, began as a chairman of a, a club. Now that particular club, accounting club and all that, when we take them, say, to Mombasa, we would get an expert in, in a particular field that they are in. Someone popular, someone uh, impactful, you know. Yeah someone fruitful in their lives uh, then would provide career corporate responsibility services so that is one of the ways that we are unique okay. yes oh, so that's a, that's your niche in the market yes that is our niche okay. as our niche all right so how can guys find you on social media uh, we are available on social media platforms uh, Instagram Facebook as Mofire adventures all our contacts are there you can also Google, we are on Google, I mean, we are, we are everywhere. You are everywhere. Uh, we, are, we are also here. <laughs> okay, so that is Humphrey Moffat. Thank you very much for creating time to be yeah. with us. And talking about much especially into and travel business. Thank you so much. All right. So I really appreciate. Asante Sarah. Yeah. So that is Humphrey Moffat, uh, co-owner and CEO of Mofire Adventures, helping us to talk about matters pertaining to and travel business. So make sure you follow us across all our social media handles. That is at Y254 channel, at Michelle Ashira where you can find me across all my social uh, much more coming your way right on Y in the morning. Make sure you don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.